Hi, my name is Hassan. I'll be presenting our work on uncovering the operation of indirect Rohammer protection mechanisms. The Rohammer vulnerability of modern DRM is a critically reliable and security threat. When a DRM row is repeatedly activated and pre-charged many times, nearby rows may experience Rohammer backflips. To protect their DRM chips against Rohammer, DRM vendors currently implement Rohammer mitigation mechanisms, typically called target row refresh or TRR. The key idea of TRR is to refresh nearby rows upon detecting an aggressor row. However, different vendors implement TR differently, and the exact operation of this TR mechanism is unknown. Therefore, TR is obscure, undocumented, and proprietary. Because of this, today we cannot easily study the security properties of TR and make sure it is fully secure. Our goal is to study in DRM TR mechanisms to understand how they operate, assess their security, and secure DRM completely against a hammer. To this end, we propose UTR, a new methodology to uncover the inner workings of TR. The key idea of UTR is to use data retention failures in DRM as a side channel to detect when a certain row is refreshed by TR. We implement UTR using SoftMC, an FPGA-based infrastructure which we enhance for DDR4 and equipped with precise temperature control. Using UTR, we analyze 45 DDR4 modules from three major DRM vendors. Based on the understanding we developed from our analysis, we craft neural harmon access patterns that circumvent the TR mechanisms implemented today. In summary, we find that all 45 modules we test are vulnerable to our neural harmon access patterns. Almost all the rows in the DRM bank experience at least one Rohammer bit flip, and a single 8 byte data work experiences up to seven Rohammer bit flips, making ECC ineffective against our Rohammer access patterns. Our paper has detailed descriptions and analysis of each of the 45 modules, and we encourage you to read it and attend our full talk. Thank you.